time will come, Diana. And everything will be different. Wonder Woman 1984 is one of the biggest blockbusters of the year, but it may not be opening at your local cinema due to COVID-19. So, in the US, Warner Brothers is releasing this sequel on Christmas Day on both its streaming platform and theatres, and doing the same for all releases next year. We won't be doing that today. This was a seismic event. You know, this is akin to the Hollywood sign falling down, uh, down and sliding all the way down the mountain. And if coronavirus has shaken Hollywood into adapting to a potential post-cinema age, at least it's still standing. Scores of businesses central to our lifestyles have been bankrupted by the pandemic. With the weather becoming a little more cold, business definitely does go down. Those surviving have changed our habits, including wrapping up to eat out at this New York restaurant. That might create a different atmosphere, and sports franchises across the world have been forced to do just that. Robot drummers, mannequins and cutouts making up for absent fans at this baseball game in Taiwan. Lockdowns mean innovating your own entertainment. I'm indeed honoured to host all of you. But perhaps the most enduring transformation from the pandemic is this. Shares in Zoom were a modest $68 on the day the first COVID-19 clusters were diagnosed. At one point this year, they were worth as much as $568. As video conferencing became the indispensable way to work, study and socialise remotely. Even if it gets frustrating when you have a patchy internet connection. Children will return to their classrooms, but some of the adults may never return to the office, presenting a new challenge for urban planners to reimagine city centres if they end up with a glut of redundant space. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.